what is your story? My story, oh goodness. Um, well, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when I was 18 months old. My family took me to the doctor because I wasn't walking and at that time it's kind of like, uh, something wrong. And so I was diagnosed with CP and I started going to therapy and started going to doctors and all these different doctors and I started having things done. And I actually, to start walking, I had Botox in my legs and that was, they injected Botox and that was something that helped me immensely because it's the thing that really got me walking which is kind of funny because when people think of Botox they think oh old ladies getting their wrinkles removed no Botox is like like that's what kind of like changed my entire life and um, I had my first surgery when I was three and I won't go into details with the surgeries but I they I then had surgery when I was four and I had a spinal headache when I was seven because they tested me for something and this it was big big deal that was a big event in my life um that happened because of my disability. And then I had one when I was nine and one when I was 12 and 14 and um, 16 was my last surgery. So I've had a lot of surgeries over my life to kind of help with the effects of the CP. And I'm really blessed because the surgeries that I have had have um, helped me get to a point where I am able to walk and am able to move around more freely than I would be without it, so. What are some challenges that you face every day? I don't know. That's a hard question for me because I don't like to focus on the challenges. I like to focus on the kind of positive things that my disability can give me, which sounds strange, but um, challenges, I don't know. Some days I wake up and I don't want to get out of bed because my legs just kind of hurt a lot. And um, some days I don't want to use my wheelchair, but I have to. And some days I don't want to walk, but I have to. And so just kind of the little things that I think people take for granted um, can sometimes be a challenge for me, but I, because of my surgeries, am incredibly blessed to be at the point where I am today and face a lot less challenges than I could potentially be facing at this point in my life. What are some of the positive things that your disability has given you? The perspective that it gives me, because not being able to know kind of like what your day is gonna look like when you wake up and and having to to cope with some of the other challenges like people staring at you and people questioning like what's wrong with you and you see people like whispering about it sometimes when you're in new situations and I think that knowing that I can get through those kind of things has made me a stronger person than I would ever be capable of being without my disability. What is the hardest part about having cerebral palsy? The hardest part is probably explaining it to others. I think a lot of people know what cerebral palsy is. Cerebral palsy is um, a pretty common thing, um, but a lot of people don't know what it is because a lot of people are very ignorant about, and which is understandable. You, a lot of people, we, d we like to stray from things that are different from ourselves. So we, we kind of sit back and we look at them and we think like, oh, that's weird and like all these things and we we don't necessarily care to understand. And I know I'm not, I am I do the same thing. Like that's human nature. Um, but I think the hardest part is getting through to those people who just don't really care to know. What frustrates you the most? I think what frustrates me is that people don't care. Like if I, am somewhere where I need to get a parking space or I'm somewhere that I can't get through a crowd but someone's expecting me to um people just don't care because they they just assume that I can magically figure everything out but that's not necessarily the case have you faced any uh, discrimination or prejudices because you have cerebral palsy face I feel like I face discrimination every day when people stare at me when people, um, when, when people aren't respecting of the things that I need because of my disability. But I also think there's um, a very powerful force against discrimination, which is educa educa education. And because of that, I do try my hardest to inform others of my situation and inform others of what other people's situations might be because I think it's very important to be an advocate 
because that's the only way the discrimination of any kind is going to um, be eliminated in this world.